Calvary has really fulfilled the need that it perceived many years ago, over a hundred years ago, that the care for the dying patient is as important as the care for the curative patient. Calvary care means that there is a holistic approach to the care of our patients. It's a spiritual care. Many of the issues revolve around what happens to me when I leave this earth. There is also the physical aspects. Our doctors are at the height of the scientific approach to all the symptoms and all the other issues in advanced cancer. And lastly is the grief aspect. We have special programs dedicated to the care of patients and families to immediately answer any concerns that a family may have, not only during their stay here, but long after the patient has left. Calvary has its main acute hospital in the Bronx. It has a, an acute unit in the NYU Lutheran Hospital in Brooklyn, and it has two other institutional sites in the Mary Manning Walsh Nursing Home on York Avenue and in the Ozenam Nursing Home in Queens. I think most families, if they have a choice, they'd like their loved one at home. The home hospice program has grown dramatically in the past 10 years. In fact, we care for more patients in their homes than we do in the acute hospitals. We have patients who can really start in any program. Someone might start in our home care program while they're in active treatment and then come inpatient and then go back home onto the hospice program. The continuum of care that Calvary as an organization is able to provide is, for me, the single most important element what makes and defines Calvary is this desire to care for patients when they make their final farewells in this world. We get numerous letters every week from grateful families who reach out on a personal basis with the names of the caregivers to say how wonderful it was and they'll say, you made what we consider to be an unbearable situation a beautiful one for us.